anyone out there does want to get into comedy for the money, don't do don't it. Do. You know. Again, I I love making people laugh. I don't like. I don't want to make them cry. Yes. Oh <laughs> shit. <laughs> You know, so I was like, better be a comedian. <laughs> and you put so much of your life into making it a good show. Yeah. And then they just ungal from nowhere. मेरी करियर में बहुत कम मेरे ख्याल से एक दो ही लोग हैं जिन्होंने मुझे एक्चुअली मैंटोर uh, किया है समझाया है क्योंकि पाकिस्तान में आप कॉमेडी करते हैं ना ज़्यादातर तो आप भिक, मतलब भिकारी होते हैं आपके पास पैसे नहीं होते क्योंकि कॉमेडी से पैसा कमाना भी एक आर्ट होती है सो so, मैंने पर्टिकुलरली इनसे मेरे गेस्ट से ये सीखा कि हाउ टू गो अबाउट डूइंग बिजनेस इन कॉमेडी एंड हाउ टू मेक इट अ प्रोफेशन उसको कैसे इज्जत से चलाना है कैसे अपनी वैल्यू बनानी है एंड दिस कमेडियन इज इज अ पाइनियर ही स्टार्टेड ऑल सारे अकबर चौधरी शहजाद जितने भी हम सब न्यू लॉट हैं हम कहीं ना कहीं इनके पास पहुँचे हैं कि सात भाई हेल्प कर लें कुछ गाइडेंस गाइडेंस दे दें प्लीज एंड सो साद हरून इज़ एन अमेजिंग कमेडियन अमेजिंग फ्रेंड and uh, i'm so blessed thank you you're too kind i don't need makeup anymore you've made me blush, <laughs> blush. enough that you like it's a good thing we're not wearing makeup you're too kind ali and i just have to say right now that i might have helped wherever i could but your talent was unmistakable you were always so fun so funny so happy and so ready to learn all the time so it was my pleasure bilkul i i i mean uh, i think everyone every one of us uh, is is uh, talented in in its own way but wo hota hai na ke koi you need someone to tell you show the show you the ropes yeah yeah and i wish i had that person too you know yeah. because when i started doing comedy there was no one who was mm. doing it kind of you know yeah. you know in in this structured environment to actually make it a career it was either uh, avami tha or yeah. me to ingrezi mein comedy karta hu when everyone was doing it in urdu so ah. granted there was really no one to actually learn from you know so i made a lot of mistakes i fell on my ass a lot i yeah. still have the bruises you know <laughs> i i'm uncomfortable on this chair right now you know i have to sit to one side one cheek better than another but uh, it's okay so far it's okay so sad uh, you started doing comedy in 2002 yes yeah so uh, i started i was i was always trying to do a little bit of filmmaking and mm. production here or there yeah. but uh, i actually started dabbling in comedy uh, i created this troupe called blackfish so of course. it was so that was kind of the first time that i kind of it was like okay i'm going to do this as a structured thing and it's going to be something that uh, everyone can enjoy but it was in english so it was yeah. a niche market uh, i remember uh, uh, agar log karachi ke hain to unko pata hoga park towers ek mall hai jo abhi udhar koi nahi jata but back then it was the only mall in karachi and usko the point bhi bolte the usko fridays bhi wahan pe tha to fridays bhi bolte the एंड वहाँ पे उस मॉल में एक अलग जगह थी वहाँ पे ऑडिटोरियम था और आई थिंक अराउंड दो टू हंड्रेड पीपल वन नो नो जस्ट वन अच्छा आई वॉज ये तुम इतने छोटे थे तो बड़ा लगता था कि ओ ये तो तीन सौ लोग होंगे इधर It was only, it's only 100, 100 people. <laughs> और उधर मेरे भाई ने कहा कि है ना उसके कूल दोस्त है उन्होंने टिकट लिया और मेरे भाई ने कहा चलो हम कॉमेडी शो देखते हैं ना उसने कहा एक्साइटेड आई एम जस्ट ग्लैड टू बी पार्ट ऑफ इट एंड सो मैंने कहा ठीक है चलते हैं हम गए और वहाँ पे मैंने एक दो एक्टर्स भी देखे सेलिब्रिटीज और मैंने कहा यार ये तो बहुत हैपनिंग अभी शो स्टार्ट ही नहीं हुआ और बहुत एक्साइटमेंट और फिर मैंने आई सॉ सनम सईद एक्ट्रेस जो थी Cyrus Vikaji jo ye Rachel Zoe yeah, Vikaji ke bhai Umarana Faris yeah. Ishma Alvi Samisha Yeah Samisha Yeah yeah they were all that's that's where it all began just And doing that's, that's the first time I ever I saw improv aur uske baad phir maine ja ke whose line is it anyway TV show dekha and star world pe aata tha ji ha <laughs> <laughs> it's amazing i'm just i want to tell the people like way back 
Uh, that was like the first time I saw. Yeah, we did it every Amazing. Sunday. Yeah, you know, it was it was so people weren't used to that either. Now, that every Sunday, that show is happening, and then they say, "This stand up, you skit, do what do you do? They are like, what do you do? Explain." I was like, I can't explain improv. We are just doing film and comedy, but it was it was a lot of fun, and I, I I I miss those days. Yeah. It was a uh, it was a real experience. So for 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 the general audience, stand up comedy or improv comedy may farak kya hai? So ba- the the basic difference if is if you had to explain it to a kid, right? So in stand up comedy, you have to write a script. You know, you have a script of jokes that you do, and in between, you might interact with the audience, or you might kind of uh, jazz up your own jokes or come up with new things right on the spot. In improvisational comedy, it's usually you and another team of people, from one other person to a team of it can be twenty as many as you want, and you're working within certain structures that you know people have invented, certain games, and you're all playing those games together and finding the comedy in it. Hmm. So that's the basic difference. difference between them. And sketch comedy is writing, but it's writing scenes. Hmm. You know, so it's kind of a midway point between improv and stand up. You know, it's one of those things yeah. where you're writing sketches or skits or scenes. It's all the same thing. Key and Peel or SNL. Key and Peel, SNL, yeah. Chappelle show, yes, yeah, Chappelle show, sketch. all of them. It's all sketch comp. Yeah. Acha, uh, as a performer, what is scarier um, to perform? Because I feel like stand up might be scarier because it's just you and the mic. Improv me for me, the comfort is that if I'm having an off day, I can have. someone else you know yes um, to yes. depend on yeah so that's it so yeah so stand up i think that um i do stand up because it's a compulsion you know yeah. like yeah. there's no good reason to do stand up like it is definitely a path towards insanity yeah. you know because you're just there yeah. you're doing stuff on stage and on improv you have camaraderie you have your team around you if you mess up one day you're not on you know the two or three other people are going to pick up the slack yeah. so it is kind of like a team you know yeah. in stand up you do it because you probably like pain or yeah. you know you like torturing <laughs> yourself i don't know but it's a compulsion yeah you know it's a compulsion that you always have to do it you mm. know and it's funny and and you get really into it and i feel like i'm doing stand up right now yeah. you know and i saw your cameraman like pick up the phone <laughs> like off and listen to a message and i'm like i'm going to get audience? you you know <laughs> like when i see someone in the audience like pick up the phone well, like yeah. you know like, it's, it's ki, like it's like it's like you know i i become the hulk but no green <laughs> You know, I'm not no muscles, no green. I'm just the just Hulk the ang- without any of the powers. I'm just angry. <laughs> just a very angry. You know, so it's one of those things. Where, and and we have these audiences, yeah. right? That are just not used to sitting still, or not used to not picking up the phone, or yeah. not used to doing you know these things. And so just by habit, they're they're like they're, they're, they're like so distracted. <laughs> You know, they're like you Can't know. Be. It's like what I'm supposed to listen to one person yeah. in a city of twenty million people just without one. swiping. It. You're crazy. Acha, <laughs> <laughs> uh, so uh, comedy करना बहुत मुश्किल है already Pakistan में. I mean, very few comedians. If you go, you look uh, Umar Sharif and Moin Akhtar and uh, and 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 uh, Sikandar Sanam and now Rauf Lala as well. वो एक लॉट है. वो भी स्ट्रगल करते हैं इवन दो वो अपनी मार्केट में उन्होंने इंडिया में भी कोई लाफ्टर चाल सारी चीज़ें की फिर भी फाइनेंशियली देर ऑलवेज स्ट्रगलिंग यू आर डूइंग कॉमेडी इन इंग्लिश इन अ कंट्री वेयर बहुत कम लोग इंग्लिश बोलते होंगे कितने मतलब आई थिंक कितने हाउ मेनी पर्सन पीपल लोग तमीज से भी बोलते हैं इंग्लिश फॉर इंग्लिश <laughs> the you know, you know, honestly there's no good reason to do comedy yeah. like this this is my art form yeah. like and this is my art you yeah. know any kind of success i get is a by product of me just doing my art you know and i do have those days many many of those days mm. when i'm like why didn't you become a banker and just do your work this would be, you know like i can hear that sound in my head actually it's a, you know but there's just something that when you're an artist and it's not just a comedian yeah. that you just have to do you you're compelled you're compelled beyond like a worldly desire to do that thing right and i tell everyone this that you know 
other people become musicians and they become a lot of people for the pop culture right mm. they want to be famous you know but with comedy it's more like pop philosophy you know like yeah. you delve into whatever you're talking about yeah. and that's why you do it mm. you know so if you are if anyone out there does want to get into comedy for the money don't do it, don't do it. you know if you want to get into it because it is your passion in life then yes you will make money you mm. will live a happy life as a byproduct of mm. that but at the end of the day you got to decide are you an artist or are you because there's a lot of dramas that will pay you much better and you yeah. don't have to make anyone laugh it's the opposite you have to make them cry cry <laughs> It's much yeah, that's easier. why you'll see like all these singers, uh, Jekyll, the uh, lead singer Junaid, then uh, Farhan Saeed. All these people they go into dramas. Even these like, YouTubers and yeah. everything, they uh -huh. all kind of go into dramas. Danish Ali, Danish, our friend, was just in a drama yeah. as well. And Moru goes to drama. How yeah. come you haven't been in a drama yet? I do. I again, I I love making people laugh. I don't like. I don't want to make them. Cry. Yeah, see, it's and it's one it's it's one of those things, and also I'm very bad at learning lines. Yeah, you know, if I was that good at learning lines, then I probably would have been a, a scientist or something like that. Yeah, it's all being in class, you know, class five, like two and two <laughs> are four, four and four is eight, eight and eight is oh shit. <laughs> You know, so I was like, better be a comedian. <laughs> I can't do this do the shit. Set, yeah. <laughs> Achha, uh, you were talking about uh, audience experiences, and I remember that one time you were doing a show, and a uh, baji uh, who uh, got really drunk, and uh, we didn't know. Obviously, you didn't know she was drunk. <laughs> She you just called her on stage. Koi, koi game thi ya koi yes, part because ya? in these improv games, you yeah. call people on stage to help you with the scene. Yeah. Or so whatever. can you can you tell tell us the story? So that, that so this so this uh, you call her Baji. So uh, so we'll, Lady. that's what we'll call her. Okay. Yeah. So Baji came on stage. <laughs> it's a good name. Baji came on stage, and then as so as soon as she was walking up the stairs, I could then smell her, and then my like <laughs> ding 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 ding. I was like, oh no, because the worst thing you can do is have someone who's drunk yeah. in an improv show. Yeah. Because it's already madness. You can't have Chutiapa <laughs> in the madness. You know, if you put Chutiapa in madness, it's like an atom bomb. It's just. <laughs> You know, so she came on stage. You know, and you're and she's supposed to kind of get in a certain position. Yeah. You know, it's so that we can start a scene. Yeah. So they get in a certain physical position. We're just supposed to be like, oh, that's a funny position. Yeah. You know, so if you do this, you say, oh, you have an ice cream on your head. Huh. But Baji, you know, came on stairs, came on stage, and started doing multiple positions. Yeah. You know, multiple positions that you need a VPN to see these days. You know, so it was left, right. You know, I mean, they are acrobatics mi teams. Mi missionary, yeah. Or, yeah, well, no, they are, yeah, yeah, they are acrobatics teams that were applauding from the audience. That look at the, you know, and so it was, and, and so the whole audience went silent. Yeah, and then yeah, then she lit a cigarette. <laughs> This is I, true confidence. I, I in a non smoking, uh, there's no eating in the auditorium, and she lights a cigarette. You know. <laughs> and I was like, "What? I, what are you doing?" Was it the uh, cigarette after you know you have sex and then you have a cigarette? So yeah, that's true. Attack. But she fucked us all. So <laughs> I guess she needed the cigarette. <laughs> so she, so she's doing so, and, and then uh, this is the old. I swear to God, this was what ten years ago. I don't know. That's the only time. In my life, I've been rude. Like I've yelled at an audience member because she was so rude. I was like, "Put out that cigarette and sit down and don't say anything." It was just that you, you so tough because you respect your audiences so much and you put so much of your life into making it a good show. Yeah, and then they just ungal from nowhere. <laughs> you know, you're like, why, why? And so I don't know if I told you this. She was my teacher. <laughs> she was your teacher <laughs> from Zambia. Oh my, my god! Okay, Jesus. let's not make it. Let's not name any names yeah. because I don't want to. I want to really leave that yeah. behind in the past. You know, <laughs> it's one of those things. I, you, what you're doing, you know, like opening that cold case. You know, like on those detective shows, twenty years ago, mystery unsolved. <laughs> who who did this murder? Why are you opening this file? The man no. is like, how do you get it? <laughs> 
کراچی میں شوز فرائیڈے and 16th it's going to be at the hive in the blue area in islamabad so we're doing nice. a whole country wide tour nice. and we're going to do the same show everywhere and i've just been yeah just writing this show so all the stuff we talk about all this kind of stuff we put into it all ends up in just one hour of Back. work of course yeah just packed of comedy like one hour that's Achha, it uh, what about the people you know jo karachi ke unhone miss kar liye they didn't know about it yeah they couldn't get tickets yeah or the cricket matches were on <laughs> you know i mean you have to compete here with floods and the economy and the dollar and then on top of it bench of 70 20s <laughs> we this is not you can't do anything else then you're done you know yeah. so yeah we're trying to in with the same time as pakistan is playing obviously everybody wants to see babar azam yeah. who the fuck wants to see me <laughs> <laughs> yeah yeah so so we are going to have hopefully we're going to add one or two more shows okay, great. right you know i think around the 21st of october so okay. keep keep that in mind 21st 22nd of october we will be back in karachi for some surprise shows so surprise <laughs> yeah so sad uh, tell me more about the new stand up because humne bahut sare um uh, uh, performances mujhe yaad hai we did this tour together university of fresh all and we did like 15 colleges and uske baad mujhe saath ka stand up yaad ho gaya tha kyunki main saath nahi hota tha to i was like yes i got to this din saath bimar ho gaya main aa jaunga aur koi kyun nahi i know that was a wonderful tour that yeah. was a mix of stand up and improv so yeah. just the best of both worlds yeah. but this this show is a real evolution from that and what is it about like you know it's 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 a lot more gritty it's a lot more personal hmm. and it's a lot more truth in it i think just the older i get the more i'm compelled to just tell the truth and realize i want to live a truthful life mm. and i don't want to uh, the show the other shows were i think that when pakistan was kind of starting with stand up comedy i was like okay let's do stand up there's no need to push the boundaries or push the limitations right now yeah. but now that i'm older and i've done it so much and i've proven myself as a comedian i'm like okay now you have to meet me halfway yeah. and we're going to talk about difficult things mm. we're going to talk about uh You know, I I talk about my own mental health in the show okay. and what happened. I talk about difficult things that, you know, uh, difficult things and topics in our society mm. that I won't give away too many more yeah. that you know, we just we just gloss over and we're like when just going to forget talking about those things and it's made this a worse place. Yeah. You know, because we refuse to talk about these things, mm. you know, and it just stays like silent and then those problems get passed on another generation and then another generation and another generation and like how fucked up are we going to be for so long and I couldn't do it. So yeah. even if it sparks a debate and I'm sure a lot of people will be angry and not happy with me mm. and I'm like more power to you. Yeah. As long as we have the debate about it, that's okay. Yeah. But the truth is what i'm going for now damn i'm i'm really excited yeah I, it's a you better fucking be <laughs> when tell some truth about you now oh ali do you know what ali kol <laughs> oh yeah have you seen his legs <laughs> there's no hair on them what happened <laughs> veet i know it's you veet <laughs> privately sponsoring his legs 
<laughs> with so, our wheat wallet. Right. Okay. Well, yeah. 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 Good, good this is not free advertising. <laughs> Fuck you, wheat. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry I just uh, and the podcast can man this podcast was sponsored by me this podcast is sponsored by hey. Gillette instead <laughs> haha we fooled you <laughs> oh man um uh, so uh doing comedy when you were when you started off in 2004 to 2002, 2002 uh, I guess yeah stand up in 2004 yeah right? stand up was stand like up. 2004 yeah so 2004 ka stand up and aaj ke stand up scene mein i know um, i'm not talking about the environment how many comedians are there i'm just talking about like tolerance i'm just talking about the society how, how uh, are they more um, um i mean they 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 get offended easily now or, or was it yeah, different then yeah i was think it? that you know yeah absolutely and i think that that's just another kind of a uh, byproduct of living in a place like pakistan where you know you're like you have no bijli no light no security you know no water and then all of a sudden somebody comes and takes your ego you're like hey ye bhi le liya kuch nahi tha mere paas to ye bhi le liya is that bhi le li you know so it's just one of those things where you know it's just a it's just one of those facets of how we live yeah. that you know that you know when you are talking to them hmm. uh, they get offended much more easily or they're like just don't they're not used to that kind of they're not used to the truth because yeah. what you're talking to them you're getting the truth out yeah. and we've spent a lifetime kind of glossing over the lies of oh yeah. we have a perfect family and my mother is perfect my father is perfect and i come from this thing and i'm you know and i'm a sheikh or i'm a sayyid or i'm a this and yeah. we have generations of perfection and yeah. it's not true you yeah. know it's not true every family everywhere is fucked up <laughs> yeah you'll do a good job of hiding it great great yeah but don't try and convince me that it's not, not. so where we i just get down to it and i be yeah. like i'm human you're yeah. human let's yeah. talk yeah that's great i i i'm i'm really excited for this new show and uh, once again if you missed it lahore mein saad harun ka 5 saal ke baad he's written a new show brand new ek ghanta he's going to perform it in uh, uh, in lahore on the october 6 7 8 at the packages mall in lahore so go and get your tickets hum ticket ki link bhi wo dal denge Thank uh, you. so ticket wala you go and get your ticket online easy and then uske baad wale jo weekend hai wahan pe blue hive uh, blue the hive. hive in blue area blue, area. <laughs> <laughs> blue hive sounds like a disease man <laughs> yeah i had blue hives yesterday <laughs> what is the hive blue area they going to kick us out of the auditorium man what the hell are you doing <laughs> is blue oh my god man <laughs> neele area yeah. mein it's like saying that i have a blue package or something in package is more like come on man it's it's a, <laughs> blue ball the <laughs> blue package is to <laughs> to yeah the hive and blue area slam bar yes. the weekend after and karachi mein kuch surprise shows aane wale hain yes yes the weekend after that one or two pop up surprise shows yeah. on the 21st around there so go to ticket wala or to my facebook instagram or you know or just show up at my house and be like oi kab the show <laughs> and then i'll come to the balcony and be like you there <laughs> next week and there <laughs> for something you know yeah that yeah. that works that Wh- works too word yeah. of mouth word of mouth <laughs> <laughs> literally <laughs> No no just go to go to ticket wala or just go to my go to any yeah. of my things my Sa- social media things things Saad Saad I am really excited for tonight cuz aaj hum show dekhne aayenge yes. Saad uh, and uh, and uh, and please don't uh, uh, I I will show up drunk uh, and I will smoke on your stage uh, Ray- <laughs> Really main charts banane shuru kar dunga Oh my god right there on stage <laughs> just just to pay homage to my teacher you know This is so funny this will be like a crazy like a show within a show <laughs> I'll be like, don't mind Ali Gul. You yeah, know, on the side, man, the stars peer. Yeah, uh, yeah, absolutely. Side, and then also just wipe off the beat at the same time. You know, just <laughs> <laughs> joint in one Vax, hand, beat in another. You know, cheeker bhi nikal liya. Okay. But uh, thank you, Sal, for coming uh, in the thank podcast. Thank you so much. Thank you for having me. And you know, I will have you one day. Ah, oh, we will have. This video, कुछ और कहीं और जाने वाली है. Yes. Yes. Okay. Bye. Okay. Bye.